All right, welcome to the bookmap trivia. This is our second event here. And uh, uh, yeah, the first hundred get access to it here. Uh, it's only in the Discord. Uh, and um, uh, put your comments in the hashtag special events, but uh, you guys are in the uh, special events voice channel. Uh, and that's where we are, uh, of course. And uh, uh, we will give out a prize here. Uh, it's $100 uh, coupon to the bookmap marketplace. Uh, for the winner here. So uh, should be pretty fun. We had a pretty good time last time. Uh, lasts about uh, half an hour or so. Uh, I don't know. I feel compelled to go through the risk disclosure. I don't know why. It's just habit. Uh, but uh, let's go through it very quickly and then we'll dive right in here. Uh, I need to give you guys the, um, uh, the code and the... Uh, hold on here. Okay, the code and... It's going to be in the special of hashtag special events area. Okay. In here. Yikes. All right, there you go. So the um, code is here uh, and we'll go through the questions in just a minute here but uh, you can see go to uh, www.menti.com and then use the code here uh, 47005008 all right so I see some of you guys coming in already uh, and uh, uh, we'll go through it here. Uh, anyway, general disclosures, all book map limited materials, information, and presentations are for educational purposes only and should not be considered specific investment advice nor recommendations. Risk disclosure, trading futures, equities, and digital currencies involves substantial risk of loss and is not suitable for all investors. Past performance is not necessarily indicative of future results. All right, so that we can go through. A uh, heck of a day in the markets today uh, as uh, kind of waiting here for a few people, more people to kind of uh, join in uh, before we get started because um, uh, this is based on um, the uh, uh, performance, your performance, not just by getting it correct, but by being also first and being correct. Uh, so that's how it works. Uh, and... Uh, uh, you know, so uh, it's one one time only. Like uh, you know, you, you jump in here and and you go for it. Uh, so uh, that's it. Uh, we have about six questions here, uh, and then we'll go through you know and cover the answers uh, for for the bit of education, uh, so that uh, it's understood what the correct answer was. Um, all right. So uh, I'll give it just another um, minute or two here uh, for you guys to uh, enter the code. Uh, it is here again, menti.com, and then use the code 4700, and then 5008. All right, so uh, I put that also into the um, the hashtag uh, special events room there. All right, so... Uh, okay, I see Sweden just joined. Look at that, all right. We got all sorts of animals in here. <laughs> uh, keen zeal that uh, your your son just said the bookmap flyer uh, looks like the Minecraft and he wants to play. Hey, hey, uh, get him in here <laughs> um, for the uh, for the trivia night here. All right. Well, uh, and we got some more people. Um, yep. Still, still joining. Still joining here. So uh, I'm going to give you guys another another minute because this is this is it. Once we get started, it's it's over. Start them early. Yeah, I know. It'll, it'll help your odds, that's for sure. All right. I'm going to wait for three more people. And then that's it. There's the dog. Two 
more people. And there's a banana. And what's it going to be? What's it going to be? Oh, and a watermelon. Okay. All right, guys, this is last call, right? So uh, th that's it. Um, so uh, we're going to get started here. All right. So again, uh, if you want to try to join last second here, menti.com, use these codes up here. There we go. A lion just made it in nick of time here. Uh, and uh, and then um, we're going to have six questions. And the goal here is not only get the question correct, but it's also based on your speed of the answer. All right. So it uh, looks like we got, I think, 19 in here altogether. All right. We got about 46 in the room here. Uh, so uh, uh, I don't know if why you guys don't uh, don't want to join here, uh, but uh, that's up to you. Uh, it's fun. It's there's no pressure in here uh, whatsoever. Uh, it's to, uh, you know, uh, uh, learn a little bit more about the markets and have a fun event and then uh, also offer a prize here. Look at that. A few more. All right. Got up to 22. And uh, all right, guys, well, let's uh, let's do it. We're going to jump in here and we're going to get started. OK, so here we go. Get ready. All right. Why weren't buyers able to lift price? Look at that image there. And what do you think? You got two answers. And not much time. All right. So, uh, uh, yep, buyer exhaustion uh, is incorrect answer. Uh, An iceberg uh, absorbed the buying pressure there. Okay. So uh, uh, let's uh, let's see who was uh, who's in the, who's ahead here. Uh, we'll uh, move forward. All right. So. Uh, who do we got in the lead here? George H., you're in the lead. You were the quickest. And you got it right. All right. Um, let's just go through it quickly in here um, about um, uh, absorption uh, versus um, uh, buyer exhaustion. Uh, just, just something, um, it, it's a really simple concept. We go through it all the time uh, in the advanced webinars. So uh, first we'll come up here and we'll turn on the stops and icebergs on chart. And show icebergs. So basically, in that image, uh, it's it's really simple. Like uh, uh, there was an iceberg blocking uh, buyers from being able to to take it higher. And we'll find an example in here. Yeah, I mean, you can kind of say it here, although like the best the best uh, bid did go higher here. Uh, I could find a better example, but we're, well, I'm going to just keep keep going here. The concept is, is basically the same. Um, the uh, uh, look at the buying pressure come in here. Right. They were they should have been able to lift price. Okay? They should have been able to lift it right up into this level up here. There's 109 contracts up here. Uh, well, there, there's somebody here, and it's not a very big iceberg. Uh, just just 21 uh, got filled, and they got they started to get filled right here, uh, and until this point here, and then then uh, they were they were uh, either filled or it was canceled or or something like that. Uh, so uh, anyway, uh, that kept price from from going higher, um, and then um, then exhaustion. Okay, was that, that's actually kind of an interesting example um, because that could also be uh, construed as exhaustion um, at a certain point. But exhaustion is more like price comes up and there, no one trades up at that area here. There's, there's just no one trading. That was not the case in that image that we showed. They were trading. They were trading right into the iceberg and they could not lift it higher. Okay. So the, the iceberg kept price from going higher, uh, just like liquidity would uh, keep price from going higher. 
right? It's just that it's hidden liquidity uh, in the in the in the market, and that that's it. All right. So uh, let me know if you have any questions, uh, and just put it into the um, uh, the chat there, uh, and uh, and w we can go through it uh, if you have any other questions. All right. So uh, let's go through the next one. Okay, Bert, you were our, our uh, winner last time, so uh, uh, I think you missed that question, uh, or you didn't even answer it, it looks like. All right, so here we go. Question two, get ready. All right, same image. Was this iceberg fully executed for 128 contracts? What do you think? What do you think? All right, all right, so uh, yep, the correct answer was no, so uh, majority of you guys got that right. And what, what, was, what was the answer? What happened to that iceberg? If you guys want to uh, maybe have the, yep, oh, perfect, oh, music, music to our ears here, got canceled, canceled, exactly exactly so uh yeah we we see it all the time uh here in bookmap uh and this is i mean this transparency is is rather incredible here uh to be able to see all these details in here show we can show all these icons in here i turned a lot of them off just to kind of keep it simple for everybody uh during the um uh, during the webinars etc um and uh uh, so yeah, here here it was executed. Uh, there was an iceberg. It's only only three, uh, very very small iceberg. Why even why even use an iceberg for three is is my question. But nonetheless, the person did. Uh, it was detected at this point, okay, which would actually be this one over here, um, and then uh, there was two that traded here. I'm sorry, this is kind of a, an odd one. Um, I think I have my volume filtered, uh, and it was just it was fully executed. This, that's a bad example. Let me find a better example. Um, one with a little more size to it. Here's 21. This is the one we looked at last time. Let's look at something else. God, there's just they're all over the place here today um wow yeah here, here's one for uh detected or here's one for a thousand here fully executed e means executed all right uh and uh wow this one's going to go back quite a ways uh we might have to skip that one anyway the um if i can find that perfect example Okay. of when it was detected with the D and then fully executed okay, or canceled. Uh, in this case, we're just seeing executions. We're not seeing canceled. Anyway, I think you guys got the idea. Uh, just kind of, here's one. Here's one that's canceled. All right. So as you can see, it stayed in the order book here. Okay, but nothing, nothing uh, they, they lost patience with it. Uh, and uh, it canceled up here. So it was still live, but price was down here. And only 22 of it, and, and it looks like it was probably the initial 22. No, it, it got, it had more than that actually trade. Detected here for 14, then one, one, one transacted. So this is a good example. Another one transacted here, okay? And as we zoom out, you can see now it, it just kind of aggregated together and shows 18. And then here, another four transactions, so 22 transacted. And then price went away from it. They stayed in the order book, waiting to, to get filled. And then finally just, uh, you know, got impatient here and canceled it and, and maybe moved their iceberg down to another area or uh, waited for another opportunity. All right. Okay. Let's move on to the next question, and or let's see who's ahead now. All right, here we go. 
Oh, it's getting pretty even. Pretty even. All right, on that one it was pretty even. All right, Ram is is in in the lead here. Uh, so um, uh, we got the first four uh, looking pretty good, and then uh, we got a lot of people uh, behind here on the leaderboard. Okay, or uh, it kind of kind of have like two two tiers here. All right, next question. Here we go. All right, was this stop run more likely from a smaller player or a larger player? Okay, more likely from a smaller player or a larger player? All right, pretty even on that. Um, but uh, the answer was a uh, larger player. All right, so uh, let's let's uh, rather quickly try to go over this one here, um, and uh, we'll go back and deselect the icebergs and then show the stops. Okay, and that was a uh, pre-market. It was kind of interesting because during pre-market. Um, we, uh, I, I couldn't find an example for, uh, the smaller players. Uh, it was larger, it was just larger players getting knocked out and then larger players getting knocked out. Most likely, now we don't know, uh, for certain, but it's most likely. Here, here's an example of most likely a smaller player. Um, well, it, it could be a, actually a combination of, of both. Uh, here's the reason. See the red line in here? This is indicating where the stops uh, initiated. It was here where we, where the stops and iceberg indicator uh, picked up uh, the transactions being stops. Okay, and we see 157. So it was on two different price levels here. Uh, but the the book sweep actually started back here. All right, so it 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 kicked off down back here, uh, and this is likely. Um, you know, a larger player that just kind of swept the order book a few a few ticks, uh, and uh, and then started to um, uh, cascade some stocks in here. Uh, they were transacting, uh, but his order fills first. Then stops are filled after that, and that's how you get slipped uh, in the market. All right, so um, that that's what really uh, unfolds in here. Uh, so uh, now a larger player, uh, it's if they start to, if you see the stop in that red line begin from the, you know, from up here, continue on all the way down through, then that's most likely the larger player that is just hitting his stops, uh, and uh, and then will transact all of them, okay. And his order is just not, you know, his order is up here in this case. In the other case where you see the red line initiate here and then follow it all the way through the stop run like that. Uh, that's a larger player just just uh, uh, you know ex exiting or or using their that's where their stops are transacting okay their stop orders uh, and um, so it's it's most likely uh, a larger player all right any questions on that let me know okay I don't see any questions on that. That's fine. All right, we'll move on and uh, let's get into the next question. Or right, let's see who's at, who's who's running ahead here. All right, our leaderboard. It looks like on that one, Jimmy and um, Persephone was uh, they did quite well. And wow. Okay, so uh, <laughs> I can see you guys are kind of gaming the system a little bit. I, I can, I'm understanding a little bit. Um, uh, yeah, Bert, I, I agree. Like it, it does seem like a, a small stop run, but like, I mean, 55 contracts is, is quite a bit for one, one player, uh, uh, at, in pre-market like that. So, um, and you know, that's just one player is what we're kind of, uh, you know, saying more likely that it's one player because the stops are triggered through the whole whole way. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Do you understand? Yeah, you understand. All right. That this is kind of important uh, to understand, like uh, the kind of dynamics in here uh, in in the order flow. 
Uh, now we don't know for sure, uh, but it is more likely. All right. So I can see that, uh, yeah, the, the trick here, I'm going to have to, we'll have to have multiple choice, I think. Um, and maybe just a few of these uh, true false. Anyway. All right. So we got uh, a leader, leader change here. Uh, let's move on to question four. And here we go. Okay, the sweeps indicator displays large volume traded over long period time periods. The sweeps indicator displays large volume traded over long time periods. All right. True or false? All right, so majority, you got that one wrong. Uh, it is false. Okay, the sweeps indicator is over a very short period of time. Uh, and uh, so let's uh, let's let's go over it. Um, it's uh, it's pretty pretty straightforward. Again, uh, we'll turn on the we'll t turn off the stops and we'll turn on the sweeps indicator. Okay, and the sweeps indicator is is kind of similar. Uh, to the uh, stops, uh, to be honest. All right now, when you and everyone who has Global Plus uh, version of Bookmap, uh, you guys have access to the sweeps and absorption. In fact, let me show you where that is, uh, just in case you you don't have access to it, uh, and you have Global Plus. Th then this is where you find it. So click on the More button. Go to our knowledge base here, uh, and then in here, uh, you're in the knowledge base um, user guide section. Click on add-ons. Okay, here uh, you'll see the sweeps and absorption indicators here. So click on them, and then in here you'll see on the right-hand side uh, the different um, uh, paragraphs, uh, and, and just click on installation here. It'll just drop you down into that area. You can download it here. Uh, and then once you downloaded it, then you install it uh, in this section uh, here in Bookmap. All right. Okay. So let's go over uh, sweeps indicator and what it shows you. It's really simple and straightforward. Here, here are the conditions. Okay. If within 0.01 seconds, the traded volume was greater than or equal to, in this case, 21. Uh, and within a minimum of four price levels, then display it on the chart. So it's very, very quick. It's not over a long period of time whatsoever. It's a very short period of time. And the idea here is, is similar to the stop run, is that if within a very short period of time, price um, or transactions happen over multiple price levels then that is likely it's likely a stop run too it doesn't have to be it could be someone just hitting the order book uh, uh really hard with a market buy with a lot of size and it doesn't even have to be a lot of size it can be a low period of uh, volatility um uh or you know uh, uh, some sort of uh maybe you just have a lot of uh, buying pressure or selling pressure so you're able to move price like that. You're able to sweep the order book. Uh, all right, so let's take a look at a sweep. Here's one here. Okay, and looks a lot like a stop run, and in fact it is. You can see the stop run down here in the subchart, but here's what the sweeps indicator is showing you. Okay, here's one price level, uh, two, three, and four. And within that time frame, uh, this amount that was it was 21 was the cutoff right or something like that uh that uh, a certain amount traded okay over that over that um, uh these four levels okay so it, that condition was met uh and and here it is okay so we're, we're displaying it all uh and you can see it here with the uh, kind of maroon uh reddish maroon um uh, uh squares in here and then the numbers below it here all right and that's it. Okay, so really, really simple indicator, uh, but uh, well, it's not over a time period. Um, it 
a very short time period, but over uh, four different uh, price levels in this filter, okay, in the filter that I made. You can make it one price level, two price, put at least two price levels in there. Uh, so uh, at least you get something out of it. Uh, all right, so that's the um, uh, sweeps indicator. Uh, and uh, yeah, if you guys are interested also in the stops and icebergs, uh, I wanted to show that as well. That's from the bookmap marketplace. Uh, and you'd click on the more button here and then you go to the marketplace here uh, and then uh, you'll find it down here, right here, uh, MBO bundle, All right? This is sold separately. Uh, it works with Global or Global Plus if you're interested in that. All right. All right, let's go on to the next question. And let me see, let me first uh, get to your guys' questions. Uh, okay. Uh, Bert, you just need another trick question. That's how you won last time. All right. Yeah, pretty funny. Um, Uh-oh, your Wi-Fi went down, uh, Alan. All right, well, all right, guys, so let's go, let's go to this next question. Here we go, or leaderboard, I guess, first. Razor and Jay did really well, and Jerry... Oh, it's getting interesting now. Look at that. Razor is now the fastest and uh, in the lead. In the lead. Look at that. All right. Next question. Here we go. Absorption is the result of only aggressive buyers' activity at key levels. What do you think? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> all right, all right. So uh, uh, answer is false. You guys are correct, and the majority of you guys got that one right. Uh, so uh, uh, let's uh, let's cover it. Um, uh, absorption um, is. So we even have the absorption indicator. So uh, why don't I even, you know, kind of show that or uh, that's all right. Here's absorption right in front of us. Okay. So now this is the aggressor behavior. Now it wasn't completely absorbed, uh, but it traded into this high liquidity and there's just more sellers. They were able to trade through it. Uh, but, uh, uh, you know, uh, this is the aggressors here. They're trading into this high liquidity. Okay, a lot of liquidity. In fact, our large lot tracker is showing us here probably, you know, I don't know, over 200 lots is one individual actor. Uh, and they, they got filled in here uh, is what it looks like to me. 260 traded, yeah. All right, so, um, you know, they got what they wanted. Um, so the 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 question is a, is a little tricky uh, because the um, you need a buyer for every seller. Uh, or vice vice versa. Uh, so it's not just that behavior. Absorption means, though, uh, that uh, uh, there is high liquidity and that the, in this case, the aggressors can't get through that area. Okay, in this case, they did. Uh, we'd find another example, but basically, let's suppose uh, at this point here, uh, price bounced to the upside. Well, then this area here at, at uh, 54 and a half absorbed all the selling pressure. All right. So in this case, there was more selling pressure, so they traded into it and they were able to trade through it. So anyway, all right. So uh, that's uh, the answer on that one. Let's move on to the next question or let's see who's leading here now. Oh, Bert's getting back in the game. I like it. Razor. Fastest was Jay. Look at that. I like that. I can, I can mention uh, who's fastest in here. Okay. All right, Bert. Are you going to hold on to your uh, your crown here? Uh, or uh, is, uh, is Razor going to take it from you here? Uh, or 
Persephone or FTX here. All right, so uh, uh, looks like uh, you got some good competition. Uh, all right, next question, guys. I believe this is the last one. All right, and this is uh, a little bit of, uh, you know, um, uh, trading culture. All right, so here we go. Bonus question, which movie is this? Which movie is this? What do you guys think? <laughs> oh no. All right, you guys know your movies. You guys know your movies pretty well. All right, so that was uh, Wall Street 2, Money Never Sleeps. All right, so uh, yeah, yeah. if you haven't watched it, you know, is the original is really great. Um, I don't know, you know, I, I love all the trading movies, or most of them. Um, this one was kind of eh, but uh, uh, nonetheless, um, uh, yeah, it it's still... I don't know if you have some time and, and you, with nothing better to do, uh, then, then, uh, yeah, sure. It, it doesn't waste your time in that sense. Um, all right. Uh, let's see, let's see who the winner is here. Let's go leaderboard. Okay. The vote goat came in pretty well here. And razor razor takes it. Okay. It held that lead to the end almost. Uh, well, from the beginning, almost, I should say. All right. So, uh, good job, Razor. Uh, the um, uh, Razor, uh, yeah, reach out to me. Uh, and uh, uh, Bruce, or you can you can just uh, ping me in here. Um, and, um, or or uh, reach out to me at uh, uh, Bruce uh, uh, at bookmap.com. All right. Yeah, that no, there's no prizes for second or third place. That's it. Okay. So, and we'll set up the uh, the coupon for you guys. I mean, uh, for you, Razor. Sixteenth place. <laughs> Last question was a gamble. Yeah, you pulled it off. Razor thin. Ha ha ha. Um, all right, uh, that makes me cringe. Um, okay, guys. Well, uh, let's uh, let's uh, wrap it up. And uh, uh, thanks for playing, everybody. Thanks for coming. Uh, and uh, yeah, no 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 uh, no points for twentieth place there, uh, NK. So uh, sorry about that. <laughs> I will do more of these. These are kind of fun, and uh, you know they're uh, uh, pretty pretty easy to put together. Uh, and uh, you know you can learn a little bit along the way uh, as well, and uh, and maybe win something. All right. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, Keen Zeal, you just download a book map today. All right. Well, welcome. Uh, oh, we'll come up with. Well, and let me know if you guys have any um, ideas on. Uh, uh, what to cover uh, for for some of these questions? I mean, obviously we're not gonna we're we're gonna mix it up here for you, um, and uh, I can see we're gonna have to use some multiple choice in here uh, because uh, otherwise is the fastest wins and it's just a a fifty fifty uh, shot at it. All right. Okay, uh, yeah, and uh, for those of you are, that are new in here, um, I mean, this is our, our Discord channel. Uh, we have, you know, lots of events and a lot more events coming. Uh, you probably saw uh, uh, Tom B. Uh, maybe uh, uh, wrap things up at, uh, you know, around 4 to, to 4.30, um, the end of the week here. Uh, I mean, he's in there every day um, around 11.30 or noon. Uh, and uh, going through uh, uh, excellent analysis on uh, uh, volume profile and order flow. 
Uh, we have the uh, daily advanced webinars as well uh, at 10 a.m. Eastern time. Uh, so that uh, uh, we really um, are here to support you uh, in your order flow, uh, reading and understanding and what bookmap is showing you uh, so that you can apply this to your trading. Uh, that's the whole goal here. This is a win-win for everybody. All right. So uh, uh, anyway, uh, we'll do more of these events here to support some of this, um, uh, some of these other events as well, like uh, to support uh, some of the education in here. All right. All right, guys. Uh, yeah, thanks for thanks for coming and thanks for playing, everybody. Uh, we'll do it again. And uh, everyone, have a good weekend. Uh, and uh, we'll catch up with you on Monday. All right. Yeah, thanks, guys. Okay, yeah, have a good weekend. Take care. Bye-bye.